Throw me to pips, it's Robbie here, or the old part. I'm 60, you know. Sorry about that, I'll stop that now. I'm sure it's getting boring by now. Anyway, welcome to video of my new Mad Bull given to me by the Mr. Mark Bryan RC as a 60th birthday present. And uh, yeah, like I say, I'm hoping there's only going to be one because there's uh, quite a few bits that have already been made up for you. In particular, this uh, steering setup. So, let's start. But before we get into step one, Mark told me off camera about an issue with the steering with this weird steering arm which one end and I don't know yet because I haven't looked fits into here and the other fits into the servo saver um, but basically it just flaps about I think it's because of that movement there but I'm not sure. So what he said to me is stick some heat shrink tubing on it. So I'm going to give it a go. Um, I tried this bit, quite thin stuff, but I can't quite get it to where I want it at the minute. I want it down here, but I just can't see. Oh, am I, is it going to do it? Oh, yeah. I think I might be if I can get it a bit more. Back a bit. Oops, forward a bit. We'll see. What I'll do is see how we go with that. Fortunately, I've got some spring loaded tweezers so I can hold it and not burn myself. And I've got this uh, micro therm, which is basically a heat gun that runs off basically a cigarette lighter. So I'm going to shrink it all down as best as I can. Not done this before. Like that. Chance to cool down a bit. And then I'm going to try and slot it in. Because I may have to do some, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do some trimming just so that I can get it in. Or can I force it? Oh no, forced it. So I'll, I'll leave it at that I think and uh, see how we go on when I need to fit it. So let's turn the page and have a look at what the first few jobs are going to be and also I don't know if, if you can see this we've got colour it's amazing I wish they did this on all the kits and guides even though it is only just you know blue and black we've got nice little blue arrows here look and all these arrows they're all blue and the greasing bits are blue so first task is attaching steering arms so I'll sort the screws and stuff out and uh, fortunately they, the steps are in actual metal bag order so we've got five steps for bag A. I'll be back. Okay so we are going to go through step by step but not in that much detail because you don't want to see hours of me screwing screws into bits of plastic so I'll crack on. And the first task is 
to get this pre-built steering arm and for some strange reason they've got a tip here of how to uh, attach the ball joints but they've already done it for you so the one thing I will say to any newbies is check the diagram for the orientation of your parts so it goes up through there and I believe over the top if it will go Mr. Mannering oh, there we go like right, so and then we've got one of these flange tapping screws as Tamiya are calling it and that will go in there like that we've also then got the front shock mount and body mount which slides in underneath like so and yet again another two of these flanged self tappers and once you've tightened them up you can then move on to step two well I think this is going to be a quick build because step two is just putting these lower wishbones into the chassis he says <laughs> it doesn't fit <laughs> oh goodness me there we go so yeah <laughs> doing that's trickier than you think <laughs> so we could move on to step three which is uh, installing the bumper and because of that securing these uh, wishbones <laughs> oh dear so if we look here somewhere there's a blue arrow showing you where these bits go and I believe yep basically they go just go in between uh, those bits there and then we've got the shorter screws that go in at the back and these longer ones for the front so you get those four screwed in and you can move on to step four step four is attaching the steering knuckles or it says front uprights here but it's the steering knuckles we're attaching now there is a note to uh, grease these however I don't like doing that because it attracts too much dust and turns it into like a grinding paste what I prefer to use is some of this and other suppliers manufacturers are available but it's a dry PTFE tape now it does come out quite vigorously so what I do is spray it into a spare aerosol cap and using a paintbrush dab it over and just slap a bit in there and when it dries it will not hopefully attract as much dust as the grease would and then using one of these what is it 22 mil um, screw pin Ugh. 
you line up everything as best you can there we go and then we just screw it in and again for any newbies or inexperienced this grey plastic here that forms the lower wishbone or a arm is quite flexible and not as stiff as all this other plastic so don't over tighten these just slightly nip it up because uh, even if it comes undone unless it flies out it's just going to stay there and then you can repeat for the other side the last step of parts bag A is to fit the front shocks which are these little ones now these shocks are the old friction type shocks with a screw to hold the top on now normally when you get these in kit form you get some of this tubing with it and you have to cut it to length and pop it inside and that gives a bit of friction um, and thus a bit of damping for the rebound however these don't have it in so they're just as bad as the new pogo sticks that uh, Tamiya supply um, but as you can see I found a bit of spare but only for two I've only found enough for two so I've put it in put one in this bit but I've also put some of this AW grease now I might need to do some tinkering and maybe pull this down and get a bit of pre-tensioning if I can it doesn't look like I might be able to though um, because it's maybe a little too much damping but anyway I'm going to carry on and put that inside there after putting some uh, of this gooey sticky loveliness of anti-wear grease on and try and spread it all up the tube and we can get the last bit of this and go in from the other side and honestly if you can find some of this it's really easy to do you just need to unscrew that cut this to around 26 mil pop it in and then pop the lid back on and screw it up ow that hurt and there we have a spring with damping so we can crack on with step five right step five uses the last of the screws we'll tip them all out I think I've got a spare 10 mil self tapper and again we've got some lovely diagrams showing you where to shove things and for the bottom we use the 18 mil step screw and it pops in there and then we jiggle it about until we find the hole yeah, the other side and then the shorter step screw yeah. it goes through and in 
the top mount there. Like so, and then we just need to repeat for this side. Well, with over an hour and a half almost of uh, footage to edit, I've decided to split the videos up into separate ones. I don't know how many I'll do, probably parts bag order. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed watching this, especially my uh, laughter, and see you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.